and he's got a reach of 188 centimeters. There's only one, Ricky Hatton. He weighed in at a fit and trim, 139, five foot six inches tall. Oh my goodness, look at the reach difference there. That reach is gonna be an absolute nut with. Terrence Bud Crawford, one of the pound for pound best in the world, fighting out of Nebraska, USA, one of the greatest of all time. The hitman, Ricky Hatton, this all-time great welterweight, one of the most beloved fighters in English boxing history. This is going to be an intense stale before the fight starts. And now for the official introductions, we turn it over to the world-renowned Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Ash talk between these two fighters. Now it's time to put up or shut up. The wait is over. The speaking stop. The fight begins now. Let's get the answers. We've waited a long time for this fight. It's here, and the fighters are good to go. Fight. Here we go, round one, big yet. shot. Here it is, and here we go. These two were made for each other. That one will count. Perhaps the hottest ticket in town for this fight tonight. Did you see the nerves on the fighter stepping into the ring, Todd? He can tell you so much about a fighter. And they're looking in the opposite corner. You've got one fighter that, that is in heaven. This is where they want to be. All the talking has been done. It's time to start doing the walking. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He didn't take that jab well at all. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. Halfway through the round and there's not a lot separating these two. Missed him with that uppercut. Both of these men showing exceptional chins, by the way. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Talk about Bud Crawford. At this point, you gotta believe he can't win on the And there's the bell for round two. It's safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's gonna try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. Counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. Todd, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. Sometimes when you're fighting a counterfighter, the rounds can get a little boring. You get trigger shy because you know if you throw a punch, one is coming right back at you. Nice 
nice exchanges from both men in this round. He misses with that jab. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You find the swarmer, you've got to protect everything. The body with the elbows, the head with the forearm. You've got to try and push them off balance because they will just stay in your face. It's defend yourself at all times. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Talk about Bud Crawford. The game plan does not seem to be working here. What's he have to do differently? Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? The bell rings and we start the third. That corner has got to find a way to get some momentum behind their fighter. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. And a counter left. That's a scoring left hand. Just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. Sometimes people refer to boxing as a dance, and in these lighter divisions, you've got to have your footwork right or you're going to get blasted out of it. Remember, with a lighter weight, you're expecting at least 300 shots around. They can let these shots go, they can move, they're fast, they're sharp. It's a hard night work for the referee. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Might want to back out of the pocket here. Look how slow these punches are. These punches coming from every angle. a hard time finding a home with that right uppercut. Fantastic punch. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Let's talk about Bud Crawford. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? You can't leave it up to the judges. It's so important. And there's the bell to start round four. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with such hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. And this is that jab. Left shot lands. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come down to who's in better shape. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. They've got to watch out for that uppercut. We're not seeing a lot of defense. Beautiful counter shot. 
And he fails to score with that left hook. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Let's talk about Bud Crawford. I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that round to you know who. Dominance, without a doubt, make look so. I love that. I love that. That chap straight. Go out there and finish it. Back into the fray here in round five. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Good counter punching for both these athletes. And he misses with that jab. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. Don't get trigger happy, because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when he catches you. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. A nice exchanges from both men in this round. He missed with that jab. What a world championship fight we're seeing, ladies and gentlemen. there's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? I've seen some aggressive fighters like this, and they are a nightmare. If you are not fit, if you are not fit, that is the worst place to be, having second thoughts in the ring. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Talk about Bud Crawford. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy if they keep this same kind of pace. On to the sixth round. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. There's a counter shot. And look at that shot to the head, and there's no way they were going to stand up to that one. So it's onward and upward after another knockout win here. Well, there's no argument right there. Now that you say it, night-night. <laughs>